Hola! Um, today is going to be a little bit more of a low-key video. I wanted to show off my... You can't really see it. One sec. I got a new t-shirt. It is a Dragon Ball t-shirt and I love it so much. It's a little tight, but it fits. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show it off. Um, I... <laughs> let me... I rarely wear white t-shirts, but actually might start wearing them more often. I kind of like what they do for me. Um, okay, so today we, like I said, we're going to be a little low-key. I'm going to be talking about the fabrics that I have um, for the fall season because I want to make a mini wardrobe uh, just so that I could feel a little cuter. Um, and yeah, I want to talk about them. Some fabrics I have very clear plans for and others I'm not too sure. But um, regardless, I pretty much have an idea for each fabric, so let's get on to it. The first fabric I'm going to talk about is um, the smallest amount of fabric that I have. This is just some leaf patterned fabric um, that my mom had. She had some aprons made um, before I started sewing regularly. And they're really cute and we break them out during Thanksgiving and this is the scraps. So I think I'm just going to make a pair of gloves with these because I think that this would make a very cute pair of gloves. I'm going to be going from neutrals down to colors so it gets less interesting and more interesting. Bear with me, I have a lot of whites and creams um, in the first portion but I have plans for all of them, that's why. And I have a lot of it so I figured why not. Um, the first fabric that I'm going to be talking about is this pretty heavy duty fabric. It's less stretchy this way and more stretchy this way and um, I have a ton of it so I'm going to use it as much as I possibly can until it's gone because I have so much of it. So I was thinking that I can make a um, pair of gloves, I can make a vest, I can make a bag, I could make a hat. Um, I could probably make all of those because I have a ton of them. Just like small things though. I don't really need a big garment with this. It's just, there's not enough of it to make a whole ass dress with it, but there is enough of it to make a bunch of little things. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with this fabric. The next fabric that I have is this lightweight fabric. Um, I'm not too sure if it's 100% cotton. I don't think any of the fabric I have are 100% cotton. But it's very light and flowy and pretty. It's got like a medium opacity so you can kind of see my hand. But it's not too too bad. It's very lightweight which is great for the weather that I'm in. It's very unpredictable. One minute it's hot, next minute it's cold doesn't make up its mind ever um but yeah so I think I have enough of it to make a dress if not I can maybe make a skirt and a blouse but I look forward to playing with this because I do really like it so this next um white neutral is m the creamiest one I have it's a lot more cream in person I think I have enough to make a skirt or a blouse maybe a dress um I really wish I had more of this though because there is a dress that I have in mind that this fabric would be perfect for. But other than that, that's pretty much it on this fabric. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned this, but I didn't go out and buy all of these fabrics in bulk. These are fabrics that I've accumulated over the years um, and now I'm deciding to use because I've been sewing more. And yeah, I figured that I just am going to use up my stash and buy more if I need to and just kind of go from there um but I do have a lot of fabric so uh that's pretty much the plan and that's the reason that this is kind of like a fabric haul I did not go out and spend tons and tons of money buying this it was little bits of money over a long period of time and yeah um I did spend like twelve dollars yesterday and bought some new fabrics uh that are going to be shown in this video but that's about it it was wasn't a ton but yeah, so. 
so the last white that I have is this stretchy it might look familiar it was in my camping video I made this cover-up that I'm not 100% confident in yet but I do love how it turned out because I do like asymmetrical dresses um but yeah, so this is the fabric that I used. I made myself and my mom a cover up so I had quite a bit of it and I still have quite a bit left over. So I think that I'm going to make a really pretty fluffy blouse with it. It stretches this way as well as this way. Um, I'm just realizing I didn't do a stretch for the cream. It's just, it, it doesn't really have much stretch. I think I just tend to stretch the stretchy fabrics. So, uh, sorry that I didn't stretch the other fabric. Or the one before that, if I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Uh, so, I'm only going to stretch the stretchy fabrics. That's what this video is going to be. Now we're getting a little bit of color in our life. Um, this, this is basically all I wore throughout high school if I wasn't in my pajamas because I was homeschooled for like two years. But yeah, um, this is just a plain non-stretch black fabric. It's not, oh, actually on camera, oh no, you can kind of see the outline of my hand, but it's pretty opaque. It's pretty opaque. Um, probably going to make a shirt with this, probably going to make a vest with this. I have quite a bit of this. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it because I have this, I think, basics are the name of the game with this type of fabric because it is a basic neutral. So that's all I got to say on that. So I'm not going to undo this completely. You're just going to have to take my word for it. I will show you the pattern. Just give me a sec. Um, this is a tablecloth and it is a oblique table. I said that wrong. Um, this is a tablecloth and it is a oblique tablecloth and it's beautiful. I immediately thought of a kind of an edgy kilt because it has kind of a um, plaid pattern. It's like a, a matte black with the shiny black crossing and it's really really pretty and I just think that it'll make the prettiest um, circle skirt so I th this one's a set in stone plan and I think I might have some left over to make maybe some matching gloves or something so I'm really looking forward to this one and it oh um, also it will be my first circle skirt project ever um, so I think I might experiment with that before I go on to this fabric because it's just so pretty. It wasn't very expensive. I got it from a thrift store, but it's very pretty. Okay, now we're on to like the beiges and the browns. Um, I This is scraps, but it's a lot of it. So I'm going to just show you. This is a pin right here that's keeping it in place. Um, kind of, never mind. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's just a bunch of fabric scraps that I did for a failed aborted video project. Um, it's actually a work in progress that I'm staring at right now. And don't look at me. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of this and it is kind of a very nice Paul. It. So I have a lot of this left over. It's a very nice fall color. It's got a, I don't know if you can see that. Alright, so it's got this really pretty cross-hatching weave. It's definitely like um, non-stretchy, basic, over-under weave. Um, and it's pretty. I think it'll make a really nice vest. And if I have enough, even um, a cape, I even have some small scraps uh, to the side of me for some gloves. So I can make a ton with this fabric, that's for sure. Um, these were curtains, and to be honest, I didn't think it would yield that much fabric and it really did so never judge a curtain by the size of it that's what I've learned with these oh I'm gonna just so I have this tool in two colors and these are also curtains um, the, I got one of each. I didn't feel like I would need a ton of it and now I'm like kind of regretting at least not getting one extra brown. I might go back. It was at a Goodwill and they sell the, these types of curtains all the time. So if by some miracle they have this color, I'm grabbing it. But um, yeah, so 
is just this really pretty sheer tool and it has um, a stitch of like leaves on it like it screams fall and for this I'm going to make a skirt um, just like a little tutu skirt that's gonna be like an accordion weave this is actually gonna be the first one that I work on so I'll probably film it um almost definitely will I'm not too sure maybe maybe we'll see probably <laughs> um but yeah so definitely gonna be an accordion skirt I'm just gonna work with what I have and I think I have enough and if I have any leftovers some beautiful sheer gloves would be perfect with this all right so this was the lining to that curtain that I just showed you I separated them um, but they are pretty much gonna be part of the same outfit this is going to be my attempt at some um, you know I don't really know how to explain it but the best way I can explain it is vintage undergarments meat romper for the two yeah so that's the best that I can explain it for now but yeah so <laughs> Sorry, I say yeah when I'm not too sure how to explain what's going on in here. Um, but, yeah. So, I think that this is going to be perfect for what I have in mind. I just need to sketch it out before I fully explain it. Because, obviously, I can't right now. It's a really pretty light brown. And it, again, screams fall. So, that's the best that I could say about that. If I have any leftover, I think it would make a very cute headscarf, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, ooh. It's so pretty on camera too, like, oh my gosh. So I have another brown. This is a lot of it too. This is one of the new fabrics that I got. It was four yards for $4, I believe. Um, I'm almost positive, so I have tons. I think I'm gonna make a skirt and a shirt or a loose vest. I haven't decided. If I have enough for both, I'm gonna swing both, but I definitely want a skirt and a top that's what I want to get out of this and it's quite opaque um, it's easy to fold so it's not gonna give me too much trouble to show you I guess this is a good time for a dab break, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I feel a little more relaxed. Funny that. Um, right. Don't know why I folded this and put it away. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, I have a lot of garments and I have a lot of fabric, so a lot of plans for this. It's such a pretty brown but it's like a cool brown it's not a warm brown and I like that I actually tend to gravitate towards cool tone anything um I do like warm tones but for neutrals I do like them to tend to be on the cooler side if that makes any sense I'll probably go in detail about color theory and stuff like that because I love it but I'm gonna just stop talking for about it right now but yeah so I love this brown color it's so pretty it's almost kind of like a, a, a it definitely is a cool undertone because it almost looks like a purpley brown if that makes sense but love it can't wait to use it yeah so this next one is gonna be a little different um, I like to think of this as a seasonal transition garment which basically is something that um, it's definitely thick enough to do this too this is gonna be definitely a later in the season garment um, but it's a good transition from fall to winter I'll probably be wearing it during like the November months um, gearing towards the Christmas season but yeah I got this for actually St. Patrick's Day and I never used it um, but I still am going to use it for what it was intended it's just going to be this really pretty circle skirt it's a blue and green plaid and it doesn't scream fall I understand that I am I'm very aware of that but my justification is it's plaid and if it's plaid it's fall so 
we're gonna go with that um i might have enough for a skirt as well as some gloves if i even have enough i might even make a little bag or a hat so we'll see but i do have quite a bit of this fabric i am very excited to use it it feels very good but it's still a little too warm so i'm gonna fold it up because i'm starting to sweat a little like okay. so oh okay that's okay so this fabric is a fabric that I grabbed um, with the purchase I made at Walmart. It's two yards for $2. Um, Walmart has this little bargain rack and I will buy fabric there. Um, sometimes I wanna buy so many of them and it will stack up. So I definitely budget myself. I don't go higher than 20 typically because even that is like, yeah, you spent you didn't need that much you know what I mean it's more of like just keeping myself in check because I really love buying new fabric but yeah so it's like this pretty olive sage um green it's not a ton of stretch going this way oh no not a ton of stretch okay so it's not a ton of stretch going this way but there is stretch going this way um and I was thinking immediately that it would make just the most beautiful blouse. This does scream fall. It is a green that would definitely look good. And I do think it'll make a good transitional garment as well because it is a much more cool tone green. Um, love it. Love it. Love the feel of it. I can't wait. I think I'll be able to make and wear a garment with this kind of fabric very soon. All right. So I don't have a ton of this, but I needed it because I love velvet. It's this green velvet fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby. It wasn't a lot. I think I paid $2 for it. And there's not a whole lot. I can, you know, stretch it across my arm so it's um, a little less longer than my wingspan. I guess that's a good measurement. And I have pretty small arms. So... Yeah, I think I have enough for a hat and some gloves. Is it's it's a very specific project that I have in mind for it. I think I make a really cute pillbox hat. I attempted to make one earlier this year for my birthday. Um, funny story. So my birthday is April twentieth, and if you know the significance behind that, kudos. I made myself a green pillbox hat, and it looks cute. It looks very very cute, but it's a little too small. So I am going to try to make myself another pillbox hat that is like, that fits. So yeah, definitely gonna make a pillbox hat out of this and I think I have enough, I might have enough for some gloves. It's beautiful, it's this, I don't think it's real velvet but I, I don't know and I don't care. It feels so good. I think it's an upholstery fabric too. Um, but again, if I just put a lining or something it shouldn't be a problem, so. So remember the story I just talked about where I made a pillbox hat that wasn't too fitting for my head? Um, this is the fabric I used and I have a ton of it left over. I am picturing a vest. I am picturing maybe a button down top. It's not very flowy so it doesn't need to be a blouse but it's pretty opaque. And it's a very pretty green. I have a ton of it and I I really like it. And that is the last of the green. So this purple I'm gonna be a little careful. I don't want to unravel it because it's the biggest pain in the ass to fold. It's a stretchy, um, it's like chiffon but it's not real chiffon if I were to compare it as the noob that I am with fabrics. But it's beautiful and it is another fabric that doesn't really make sense for fall, but I'm going with um, bold tones. That's the, no, 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 that's not the word. It doesn't, it's another color that doesn't make sense for fall, but the theme of my fall wardrobe for 2021 is rich colors so it does fall in the category of a rich color it's just not rich in a way that you would first think for fall so yeah again i think this will make a really nice transitional garment as well and i think it'll match the plaid skirt that i want to make 
So this one's definitely going to be a, a beautiful project. Let me stop talking about it and just show you. It's this very pretty purple. Um, it looks like I have a ton of it. Like it's this heavy duty opaque. It's not. It's very sheer. See, that's two layers and you kind of see through it. I don't know how to. No, 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 no. So. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not a very thick amount of it, but I have a ton of it. Um, and I think it'll make a really pretty blouse, and if I have enough of it, maybe a pair of gloves, maybe a scarf. I want to make a lot of gloves. I, I'm, I think I'm making a point of that through mentioning gloves, 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 but I really want to start wearing gloves more often. I just, I'm on a glove kick, and I don't understand, but, um... I think that gloves are a really good project to use up your scraps so yeah and if I have even more of it I might make a headscarf I think I have enough to make a lot of things with this so um yeah before the gears start turning I'm gonna just move this very pretty purple right here don't look at it so um it's the only red that I currently have uh, I'm doing my wardrobe in two parts first part is going to be homemade um, projects where I just use fabric because those are going to be the most time consuming and I just want them done. And while I say they are going to be the most time consuming, um, they're going to be small, relatively speaking. So this half is going to be fabrics and then there's going to be a second half where I go through all of the clothes that are to be... Uh, redone in a way or completely refashioned um i do thrift a lot and i have a entire tote of leftover clothes or donated clothes because people know that i like to alter them so yeah we will get to that completely different monster in another video but yeah this is the only red that i have in this portion of that whole project which I'm going to start calling my fall wardrobe project starting right now um it is a maroon oh it kind of looks very burgundy okay so I'm I feel justified in calling this a burgundy it's beautiful and it's just a basic um thin non-stretch uh I'm gonna say cotton uh, I don't think it's 100% cotton but it's nice, it's pretty, and I can make a shirt with it. Um, I probably could make a blouse with it because it's not flowy, but it's not stiff. So, yeah, I really look forward to working with this. I don't have a ton of it, but if I come across more fabric like this, I know I have a lot of it, but I, I don't have a lot of this. So, don't judge me if you see some more of this color pop up, just saying. So this is the last that um, I bought at Walmart. This is a, I don't think I did the math right because if I spent $12 on these, don't do the math, just um, divide it up in your head how much I spent on each one of these. I didn't spend a ton. I, I didn't spend more than like $4. So, Oh, you know what? I didn't spend $12 because I was going to spend $12 and I put a fabric back. That's that's where it is. So I spent $10. No, that doesn't make sense either. So this is where you learn that I am so bad at math. And we're just not going to do that right now. So this is a fabric that I bought at Walmart recently. Um, I realized that I didn't have a lot of oranges or even yellows. Um, I only even have one yellow, which will be the last thing that I'm talking about. But it's just this, um, it stretches this way, and it stretches more this way. Um, it's not super sheer, not super opaque. It's pretty thin, but I know it's gonna keep me warm. Like, I could probably wear this through December if I want to. Uh, not sure if I'm going to. But I think this is a, a beautiful, quintessential, rusty fall color. And I'm in love. And I have quite a bit of it. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to make. I'm seeing a bray. I'm seeing a top. That's kind of all I'm seeing right now. But it's pretty. And I'm also seeing a bug. Because they won't leave me alone. Alright. 
so this might look a little familiar that brown definitely not satin but satin looking fabric that I had earlier this is its yellow twin um, I again I bought just one of them because I didn't think I'd need a lot for a project I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this now I might go down the same route that I'm thinking for the brown fabric or I might do something completely different because it is its own separate fabric and it's, it's a really pretty yellow and I don't have a lot of yellow but I can't wait to use this one. Um, this one's a question mark for now. And to end this with a little bit of predictability, if that is the lining, this is the topper. And again, it's just this really pretty but yellow this time tool like I think it is tool. So yeah. And again, pretty yellow flowers. And you know what's crazy is this screams fall, but it also screams summer. So I am for this kind of seeing maybe a kimono-like piece if I don't do the same thing. I'm not sure that I want a yellow accordion style skirt, at least in this type of pattern. If I get some yellow tool, just plain yellow tool to make a yellow accordion style skirt that might work that might work so yeah that is the last of them i'm tired of folding these so i'm gonna just boop okay so that's the last of my fabrics um i hope this was interesting for you if not there's always uh next time my next video and until then i'll be seeing you